double trouble. Double trouble pod, uh, live stream. What should we talk about? What do we want to talk about here? What are we getting into here? The tree cutting didn't go well. I've, I've got to go back and finish up. I'm going to finish it up. I just didn't want to spend too much time on it. And so I got to go back out for efficiency wise. Good day, good day. It's always a good day. I wish that, uh, I wish that, uh, I wish the fucking, like, people work too much, you know? You should be working, uh, during your waking hours less than the amount of time that you're taking to think. Or spend time with family, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I mean, you're always kind of like, if you're awake, you're working, you know what I mean? If you're awake, you're working, but if you're working for somebody else, then it's like, you know, it's for them, it's not for you. Twenty. I don't know, how many, how many hours are you awake in the day during a week? No, it's an extreme, it's an extreme waste. They basically, they basically have everybody inundated working all the fucking time just so they don't fucking go homeless. You know, I mean, that's the system. And it's, it's totally fucked. You need, it should be, like, a, a vast majority of your time should be used to, I mean, you should, people need the ability to think uh, and uh, think about why they're here. And uh, that can take a long time. That could take, like, you know, a whole lifetime. And so, uh, you need a lot of time to do it and uh, reflect on it for years and years and years, in my opinion. To be to be healthy and uh, live the way that we are, you know, created to live. You need time to just, like, sit and do nothing and, like, observe the world. We, we, most people do not have that luxury. What's really sad about the way that society is uh, set up is that you could have, you know, like, you could easily have, it's not even, you, you could have shit set up to where you have public, <laughs> we live in a society. You could easily have shit set up to where, like, I, I'm not even talking about, like, co like, obviously communism is fake and it's predatory, right? So, like, don't don't fucking get the streams crossed here. Society can be set up, you know, like like the fuel, like a fuel forest, for instance. You every city could have a large plot of land where they just grow fuel trees, and then you go out there and plant, and you go out there and cut, and then from what you plant and cut, you know, you just have like if it if a if a fuel forest is allocated to a city, like if a city elects to build one. You know, like if you, let's say that you needed, uh, like, I don't know, 10 quarts of wood for a year or whatever for, like, your consumption. So you go out there, the fucking trees will be pretty standardized, so you'll know what 10 quarts is. You, you fucking, they, you know, you get, you either bring your own saw or whatever, you know, 
cut, cut the fuckers down and process them. Maybe process an extra tree for people that can't fucking cut their own shit. And then, uh, and then you fucking plant, you know, that number of trees times two as saplings. Oh, Chico Traps, were you late to the stream? That's, that's unauthorized. You are, you are not authorized to be late to the random fucking stream I just started in my car while I'm driving around. Which, really, it's, it'd be difficult to determine what the start time is. Because when I start the motherfucker, when I start the motherfucker, it's like it cuts in and out and then like goes through a uh, random delay period before it actually starts streaming. Non-gas saw? I don't, I mean, saws are one of those things where it's like you probably want gas for a saw. You can, you can do air powered saws. They don't really make them. I mean, they do make them, but they're like extremely, they're like industrial saws. They're extremely expensive. Something like, um, I don't know, like several thousand dollars for a gas saw, or for a, uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking like air gas, like pneumatic saw. Yeah, they're, they're very expensive. They're industrial saws. But they are the shit. They, they work really well. You do have to have a uh, substantial, you know, air access to run them. The, uh... The fucking, uh... Pneumatic power, pneumatic power is like the, the really uh, untapped resource for uh, Earth. Yeah, gas saws are cool. Gas drills are cool. They don't make very many gas drills, but they're the shit. They have a lot of fucking power. So Abdul asked Dugan, what do you think what do you think mammal production will be like if uh, if money becomes less powerful? Well you probably you know like the ammo whatever ammo there is will go a long way because you won't have like fucking nation states organized to murder each other all the time. That would probably save some ammo. Yeah, the Tanaka. Yeah, the Tanaka had gas drills with shit. I haven't bought one. I've looked at them on eBay before, like used ones, you know, a couple, a few hundred bucks. They're fucking cool. The other, the the really cool thing about uh, pneumatic pneumatic tools, in particular, like air power tools is that they're extremely fucking simple like they're the most simple construction tools so like you can like in terms of uh like home casting like like especially with uh 3d cad so you can you could draw up a pneumatic tool design and then fucking cast the parts out of metal using uh using uh 3d printed you know forms do like green sand casting and then you can put the motherfucker together and I have a pneumatic tool I mean, you'd have to do some uh, some uh, threading, you know, for screws and shit to hold it together. But they're extremely simple.
how will ammo be? Well, ammo is fairly simple to produce. It's just based. I mean, it's just uh, basically the metals and then a, like a press. And there's a lot of way to a lot of different methods of applying uh, pressure to metal. I mean, what you're talking about, Abdullah, what you're worried about is like way far off. Yeah, you can always go black powder. Black powder is pretty. You can always go air rifle too, right? Like if you're not, if you're just talking about utility, like shooting in utility, like being able to take game or like just practice, you know, shooting, you know, target practice or something. Like you shoot fucking high powered air rifles and shit. I mean, they make they make air rifles that go, you know, a thousand feet per second or even high. I mean, they make fucking supersonic air rifles. There is a uh, so there is a 45 caliber. Um, you guys ever watch uh, Mr. Teslonian on YouTube? I love that fucking guy's channel. He's he's awesome. So he he did about he had a uh, like an air powered uh, you know like pellet rifle. I think it's a 45 caliber, I believe, or maybe it's a 30 cal. I'm not I'm, I can't remember for sure. He has one. Uh, it it fucking gets up there in velocity. Um, he can. He did a, an experiment where he basically like uh, he basically like a reach loaded air rifle. It creates a uh, like an airtight barrel, you know, cavity between the the muzzle and the uh, the load. He put a T on the end with one 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 branch of the T is going to a vacuum uh, compressor. And one of them is going to a piece of foil just to keep it from like the vacuum from opening. And then he fucking like he vacuums the the barrel cavity. Uh, I don't know how far, like to a few atmosphere or something. And then he shoots and he can like bump his velocity on his uh, pellet gun up to you know like I don't know 2,300 feet per second or something like that. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, shotgun shells can be easy. You do some blunderbuss type shit. Vehicles, vehicles are one of those things that, like, I mean, yeah, I, I'm obviously a Toyota fan. The the forts. I'm not a big fan of Fords, but they are everywhere. So, like, if you're in the middle of the United States, if you get, like, an F-150, like, uh, early 2000s or late 90s model, you're, like, you're, you're going to have a lot of fucking parts available for fixing it. Um, vehicles are one of those things where it's just, like, it's really unfortunate that all that shit got moved overseas, and they made vehicles, like, they basically took vehicles and made them... Um, less and less serviceable over time instead of going to like the angle of self-maintenance and servicing and uh it's really the wrong direction like vehicles needed to get more simple to be smarter and they made them like more complicated to make you have to buy more so that people have to like rotate off vehicles constantly and uh that's you know obviously that's not for your benefit that's for the seller benefit but the uh it would have been nice if they would have uh, gone the other direction with it, for sure. Yeah, I mean, everything everything is like that. And so that's what, that's what you get what we're talking about here in terms of, uh, somebody said that like farm equipment is the same way. So what we're talking about here is, uh, this is like, this is like exactly what happens when you have something that's not rational, like a ra an irrational abstract system. T 
take over the lifeblood of uh, like creation, right? So like money, money is an abstraction and it has its own laws that are associated with it. And anything that's tied into it is subject to the pressure of those laws. They're not, they're not really like physical. They become physical through, through interaction with the system. And uh, you get like irrational, um, you know, irrational behavior and development of technology and shit stemming from that, you know, it's a byproduct of that, you know? So like, whereas even in the past, I mean, even, even like the infancy of money and shit, things were kind of like designed in isolation of the technology itself. So like you would design something with a consideration of how useful the thing was or like how long it was going to last and like, you know, considerations like that. Well, that's kind of like rational because that's what you're, that's what the consumer or the user is looking for, you know, out of, uh, out of a technology. But when money is uh, running the system as an abstraction, it, it emplaces laws that are irrational at least to to people, right? Like they're they're rational in terms of the in terms of the abstraction. They're not rational in terms of uh, the use by people. And so you get like, you know, all of this whacked out shit. Same thing is true for like immoral behavior too, right? Like, like it's not really rational. Like for instance, like like take the fucking California Hollywood bank robbery where there's two guys who are like. Which was aesthetic as fuck, by the way. I, I, I'm okay with saying that because nobody, nobody actually died. I mean, the 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 bank robbers died, unfortunately. I, I don't think the bank robbers should have even died. Nobody should have died. But you know, other than that, th that was their choice. Other than that, nobody died. And uh, that fucking shit was aesthetic as fuck. Because I was like 1990s, dudes wearing like fucking windbreakers and ski, ski masks, like just like doing mag dumps in California. <laughs> with helicopter cam footage like <laughs> you, you know that, that was that was pretty aesthetic looking but the uh like their behavior is irrational right like you, there, there shouldn't be any reason like imagine if the cash that they were going after was just like a stack of bananas you know what i mean like if it was just like a banana stand and then you had like two guys like like strapping up and just fucking like mag dumping in the streets and shit and like gonna sacrifice their lives for like a stack of like 50 bananas or 100 bananas or whatever they're gonna get like a duffel bag full of bananas it's just not really rational you know you're just kind of like what like okay <laughs> but you know because of the technology of money impinging its law which is an abstract law and comes with an abstract irras irrationality that's how you get shit like that same thing with like porn you know, like porn or like prostitution, things like that. Like they just don't really make any sense. I mean, I know that there are some loose gals out there, but you know, like, like most women have at least some, you know, they have some kind, whether or not they understand it, they have some kind of system of like judgment of a mate that they're kind of equipped with, equipped with by, by design for creation, you know, whether or not the, you know, depend, you know, regardless of how, <laughs> beneficial it's actually going to be to them or how, you know, how in tune they are with that <laughs> or understand it. But like, you know, like women aren't, you know, under normal circumstances, aren't just like, you know, making themselves vulnerable to complete strangers and shit like all day, all the time. And so the, uh, you know, the, the irrational impingement of money completely changes, you know, cause it pretty much makes like, like people do like people do all kinds of shit for money you know what i mean like you, it, it doesn't really matter what it what it is like you pretty much just if somebody won't do it you you pretty much just put like you just kind of like raise the price uh, of pay and then it's going to uh like you're going to find somebody to do it you know what i mean and that's the that's the irrational abstract law of money Know what I'm talking about? You know what's up? It's it's pretty interesting. It's an interesting it's an interesting phenomenon that isn't really people don't really care about. Yeah, I'm sure that you might be able to find a gal 
that's, you know, like down, you know, she might be down for a stack of bananas. I don't know. But, you know, I guarantee you it's not going to be, it's not going to be very common. Like, <laughs> it's going to be a lot more natural of a process. And you're going to, you're going to have a really, you're, you're going to have a lot harder time finding a person that's going to, you know, ma match up with the components on that. It is. It's a, it's a real shame. It's a, it's a, it's a real shame. And it's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that society doesn't understand this because every, every person in society is, has like an inherent, you know, great deal of wealth that is, uh, inherent inside of their creation. And, uh, like through deceit, they can't ever really access it or understand it. Uh, they don't understand how to connect it to their, to their, you know, perceptual existence. And then, so we're, you know, all slaves, you know, doing stuff that is, that aren't beneficial to us, doing things that aren't beneficial to us, doing things that are destructive to ourselves and to everybody else around us. And, uh, it becomes like a rational, a rational standard, standard procedure. And, uh, people just kind of accept it. And it is, it is unfortunate. I mean, it pretty much interrupts everything. It interrupts, you know, there's like, I'm sure that there's entire, like, you know, there's probably like millions of people, like tens of millions of people on the planet, if not billions, that wouldn't, wouldn't have ever been born in the first place if it wasn't for the technology of money. But all those people that I'm talking about, like, are in existence, you know, and I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying, like, statistically, right? Like, I'm not talking about, like, a, a type of person or anything like that. I'm just talking, I'm just saying, like, statistically, there are a bunch of people here that wouldn't have, would have never come into being if it would, if it would have not been for the stimulation of money. And it's not a good thing because they're going to most likely, in most cases, not all cases, but in most, in most cases, they're going to be entirely tied to that uh, artificial stimulation. You know what I mean? And so without it, without it, they're, you know, going to have a hard time. And uh, it's just a very weird bowl of spaghetti money with a lot of with a lot of unforeseen consequences that are, uh, or foreseen, probably the people who are, who make money fucking know about all this shit, but they're not, they're not foreseen for the people that are, you know, forced to fucking use the system. The fucking American Indians had it right. Those dudes are legit. All right. Uh, I'll see you. I, I might be able to do one here in a bit. I'll do another one. So uh, see you in a bit. Have fun. I love it. Bye-bye.